Well, we are starting off with a good bit of sunshine this morning and some temperatures that are warmer. And that's definitely good news compared to the weather that we've had the past couple of days. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this sunshine. This is here at the Lake Club weather camera. Really pretty out there this morning. Only a few fair weather clouds overhead. Nothing that's causing any type of precipitation. Uh, temperatures right now already starting to rise above freezing. It's 33 in Canfield, 30 in Grove City, and the temperature's 31 degrees there in Mercer. Now, I talked about those clouds. You can see on the regional radar that there are a few areas of those clouds out and about today, but on the radar, nothing that's causing any type of precipitation. The future tracker shows that it is going to be dry throughout the day today, and in fact, temperatures are going to rise into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees in most locations. However, the clouds will begin to increase overnight tonight, and we'll see those temperatures kind of drop off into the upper 30s and uh, mid 40s, though that is still, as far as the low temperature goes, a lot warmer than what we have experienced this week. So dry all day today. Temperature rising to 50 degrees. Southwest wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour could gust to 20 miles per hour at every uh, at certain points in time. Now our next storm system is out here in the southwest. Doesn't look like much now, but once it starts to turn the corner here, there's going to be a lot of moisture influx uh, from the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to bring a lot of rain showers to parts of the southeastern United States. All of that will push into our our area as we head into the day tomorrow about nine o'clock here you can see a young sound seeing quite a bit of rainfall activity. The future tracker shows this here. I mean, it's going to be a chilly rain when we start out tomorrow morning. Upper 30s and low 40s while that rain is moving through our area. So uh, make sure you grab the rain gear because the rain's really going to be with us throughout the day Friday. Here at 2 o'clock Friday afternoon, the showers continuing. Now, the future tracker shows the rain, at least the heavier rain, clear out uh, for a time as we head into the day Friday. But there still is uh, going to be some areas of drizzle throughout the uh, throughout the evening on Friday. Temperatures are going to kind of be in the low to mid-40s. I know we got some Christmas activities going on, so I would keep that rain gear handy as we head into Friday night. And then there are going to be some additional shower chances as we head into the weekend. Future rainfall totals anywhere between about a quarter of an inch to half an inch of rain expected here in Youngstown and that is good because we're still in a rainfall deficit uh, because of some of the dry weather that we experienced in uh, the month of November. Seven day outlook rain showers obviously for tomorrow. Now it is going to warm up some over the weekend a uh, low to mid 50s though there still will be the chances of some showers of both Saturday and Sunday. Another chance of showers Monday. Notice the temperature drops down some there and then with temperatures in the upper 30s next week with some of those showers continuing could see some of the snowflakes mixing in with the cooler temperatures.